Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Robert Reed. I'm the founder of Public Convention. I'm very excited to have so many people here at RESPICON 2021. Our goal here is to support the entire global humanitarian community that's making restoration support devices. Um, to introduce and orient uh, the conference, uh, before we jump right into the ventilator part, I'd like to introduce my friend, Victor Sutrin, who is uh, the head of the Polyvent Project. Uh, he runs a medical device firm in uh, Germany. And so why don't you begin, Victor, while I'm getting these slides up? Hi, everybody. And thank you very much for coming today. It, you know, it's so great to see such a turnout. And Rob and I, we just started this a couple of weeks ago. We, we thought of an event to just launch Polygon, but now this grew into this big conference. So, you know, I hope that we can make the best of it. So, uh, yeah, when well, Rob is ready, we will quickly refresh. Somebody's got feedback. Um, can you, the rest of the panel, mute, please, if that's possible? Okay. So, thank you. Much appreciated. So to reiterate again, that the purpose of this conference is you know, to learn and teach about respiration support equipment to the wider audience. There's going to be a few people here for whom this topic is new, including some young innovators. And, uh, and we, the, 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 another goal is to facilitate building more long-lasting humanitarian engineering culture, similar to what we had in the computer culture in the United States. I also, we want to help with facilitation of engagement with more volunteers, existing and new ones between and within projects, and uh, also connect between policymakers and other non-engineering fields together, particularly with the help of the Social Hour app. Um, and at the end, we really want to uh, see how we can essentially support all the projects that are still in the open source space since the beginning of the pandemic, create more opportunities for them and uh, to, you know, to take this into a more sustainable future. Uh, because I mean, this pandemic is a fantastic demonstration of how uh, medical devices or respiratory support are very essential for us. And um, I'm just wanted to pass on to Gabriela, who is from Sirius Global, but she had some connection problems. So I just wanted to come back. Rob, if you can come back on slide, please. I will uh, just say a couple of words on her behalf, if that's possible. Um, thank you. So this. This conference is hosted together by Public Invention and an organization called Sirius Global, uh, which is, is uh, a new uh, volunteer organization that supports uh, creation of collaborations between universities, uh, engineering volunteer teams. So they have done a fantastic work here, especially the international medical community from Gabriela, are you actually here? Yes, she is. Where is she? Uh, she's, she's a panelist now. Okay, cool. Gabriella, why don't you take the floor and say a couple of words then? I'm sorry, I didn't want to take your spot. I just did not see it. No worries. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, uh, let me maybe say a couple of words. I'm not going to uh, be long. We are based in Rome and Italy, uh, and we mainly focus on transfer technology processes uh, and projects. Uh, we started from universities, and actually together with Victor, we then also uh, co-initiated the Impact Innovation Alliance, um, and we've also uh, created uh, during, in the midst actually of the pandemic and international medical community that right now is um, uh, hosting the Healthcare Summit 2021 and we're heavily focusing on the future of pandemics, uh, which is the reason also uh, why we're very, very uh, happy and honored to be partnering with Robert and uh, Public Invention. Uh, our organization is um, uh, having members and partners in uh, more than 30 countries around the world. We are an NGO uh, and we were founded to actually support implementation of the SDGs. So we focus mainly on uh, those related to health, quality education, uh, sustainable communities and partnerships. Um, that's all from my side, uh, but thank you very much really for uh, having and hosting this uh, uh, excellent uh, exercise for all of us. And I really hope that it will uh, bring together uh, not only engineers and innovators, but also policymakers and that we can really make some change very soon all together. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriella. So we will have first two hours dedicated to the technical track, which will first include demos of the ventilator projects followed by auction concentrator panel then uh, we'll follow up with a policy track for another two hours 
Now, important thing that we will have an open social hour discussion going on throughout the whole conference. So you're free to go in and out of Zoom to social hour. If you want to have a private discussion in a social hour, just I will post links, just write directly. I will help you facilitate this process and whilst Rob is running the master ceremony. So if you have any questions, please just pop it into the chat and uh, I will post these links into the chat following this up and we will begin with the first project. Okay, I know you guys can't type these links right here, but these links uh, for Social Hour and the uh, Sirius Global Slack channel dedicated to this conference can be found on the homepage. And there's also a copy of the slides there as well. Okay, so um, thank you very much, Victor. Uh, Victor is um, uh, the technical lead of the Polyvent project and he's also going to be spending some time in social hour to answer questions and provide technical help there. So um, now I'd like to hand it over to Open Vent Bristol, um, which is run by Darren, but we have uh, Jonas on camera, but I don't know if Darren Lewis is going to is going to join us and play the video that he prepared for Open Vent Bristol. <laughs> 